But well, but to be fair, we've always seen technologies get introduced that eradicated billion dollar industries. I mean, like electric cars are essentially destroying gas stations right now. You know, I've always said, you know, when I got my first Tesla seven years ago, I said, okay, in the foreseeable future, you will barely see conventional gas stations anymore because this is such a better technology. I mean, in Hollywood, you're seeing AI kind of mess with the, you know, the livelihood of writers. It's starting to create its own, right. its own kind of, uh, you know, scripts and everything else like that. That's natural. Right. And in general, if the net result in society is an improvement why hold back a technology that will improve all of society if a couple of industries fall by the wayside? I but mean, at one point, not, there no, were more no, horses you're, than you're, cars you're, you're, in America. Here's the flaw. Right? In, and now there's barely any horses. No, but this is the flaw in your argument. There is not a few industries. It's the pivotal lifeblood of the industrial world today, which is the energy sector that would have to be completely retooled. And we're not talking a few billion. We're talking over a thousand trillion dollars. So the macroeconomics of this and are, are way beyond, you know, a Tesla car and way beyond something, a digital uh, innovation. And this is why it has been kept so secret because uh, now there is one part of this technology that should remain secret. And I want to be very clear on this. The aspect of it that generates energy that would run your car or house Great, that should be brought forward. That part of it that is gives you uh, basically lift and flight at speeds that are beyond imagination, which we do have, those should be kept classified because that's obviously a missile and weapon delivery system. And I don't think you want every terrorist in the world uh, having access to that where in two or three seconds they could uh, launch something from Mogadishu over New York and, and detonate it. So there are valid, uh, serious national security concerns regarding the propulsion or space transfer. Like when he reported that object that was moved so quickly, it was 60 miles away. Yes. So that technology, having studied extraterrestrial technologies that we've reverse engineered, for uh, 80 years, since the mid, early to mid 40s. Uh, that has resulted in some significant developments. And the problem is some of those developments need to be disclosed. Some of them need to be disclosed later after the world figures out how to handle it so it's not another weapon of mass destruction, right? So, I mean, this is a mature conversation that has not been joined yet because people are still scratching their heads. What's a UAP? So, you know, we're always being thrown back to kindergarten when in reality there were hearings in the Congress in the sixties and seventies, there were uh, organizations with whistleblowers and pilot cases better actually than what the one Mr. Fravor was involved in back in the fifties and sixties. I have them in our archive. The question is why do we keep wanting to go back and hit the rewind button and it's sort of in a cul-de-sac going around a circle. I mean, I think we need to, to move it, advance the, the discussion, and also advance the evidence much more quickly.